And remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that every time I post a video, you're going to be getting notified. Today, we're going to look at one of the questions under circular motion. And in this video, we're going to look at this question which says, A cyclist is riding with speed B on the level road. As he reaches a shaft circular corner of radius R, he maintains the same speed. If the coefficient of friction between the road and the tires is mu, question A or part A. Show that the speed, the maximum permissible speed of the cyclist is given by B is equal to the square root of mu Rg. Then B, if the cyclist's speed was 20 km per hour, radius of the circular corner is 15 meters and the coefficient of friction is 0.35, show that the cyclist will skid away. So this is the question that we're going to consider looking at in this video. So here we have been given this scenario where there is a level road and there is a car that is coming and as it comes there is a sharp circular corner then the question demands us to show that the maximum permissible speed as he negotiates as he negotiates that corner the maximum permissible speed is this one so this is what we we, we, we need to show and then we need to show that it is moving with this speed can uh, he skid away? So these are the two questions that we're going to consider here. So as he is moving, as he is um, negotiating the corner, so we we have the, red, the radius, which is 15 meters, then mu, we have 0 0.35. Okay. Then here, we have two forces. We have two forces. We have, as he is negotiating a circular uh, corner, there is an, an aspect of, there is an aspect of the centripetal force, which is given by mv squared over r. So this is equation number one. We can call this as equation number one. Now, as he is negotiating the same corner, there is a force that is counter reacting. There is a force that is um, opposing the motion. There is a force that is the opposing the motion, and that force is what we call friction force. And the friction force is given by mu F n or normal force. And for this one, uh, for F n, if we have, if we have a scenario such as this, this is a rod. This is the road, or this is the surface, and then this is an object. This is an object, then there is this one, which is Fn, then we have Mg here. Then the friction force is if this object is moving in this direction, if there's a force that is push, pull, uh, pulling or which is pushing in this direction, then the friction force acts in an opposite or in an opposite direction. So this one. So this one, it is the one that is given as by mu is equal to so this one. Let me erase the first part. Is given by mu f a summation of forces equal to ma. But since we don't have any movement here, the summation of forces, we have this one. So we have Fn minus mg, this must give us ma. But a is equal to zero. We don't have any movement in this direction since it is a level road and it is going in this direction. So a is equal to zero. So Fn minus mg is equal to zero so that fn is equal to mg so this one will be equation two so equation one and equation two are equal so fc is equal to f alpha mv squared over alpha is equal to mu mg but since we want to have to, to just remain with the B, we can multiply throughout by 
by R over M so that we have MD squared over R times R over M is equal to mu MGR over M. M here and M here will cancel. R, R here and R this one will cancel and M and M will cancel. So we are going to have this squared is equal to mu GR. So in order for us to remain with B, we introduce this one to both sides so that this and this will cancel. So we are going to have uh, mu GR, which can also be written as mu R G. Therefore, the maximum permissible speed is equal to this. So from this, from this point, so this we know that this one is equal to this. So now let us proceed to find the second the, the second part which says if the if the set speed was 20 km per hour, radius of this, then find show that this is so we have um, this one if so this is part A. Part B. Part B, we have a scenario where we know that V max, the maximum permissible speed, is given by mu R G. Of which we know that mu is equal to 0 0.35 and R is equal to 15 meters. G is equal to um, 9.8 meters per second squared or newtons per kg or newton per kg. Okay, so we have uh, we have this one. So from this, but we've been given to say the cyclist was moving at 20 kilometers per hour. So if the cyclist was moving at okay, first let's begin by finding this. So if we plug in the values here, we're going to have zero. What we're going to have is 7.17 .17 meters a second. So this is Z, the maximum permissible. This is the maximum permissible speed. Now it is moving at 20 kilometers per hour. If it's moving at 20 kilometers per hour, so we have speed, which is 20 kilometers per hour. So we can convert this into meters per second. 20 kilometers, we have 20,000 meters over one hour is 3,600 3, seconds. 3,600 seconds. So this and this will go, this and this will go, this one. 86 and 200, we're going to get 5.5 .5 meters per second. So this one is the speed is moving at. Then, the maximum permissible speed is this one. Now, because of the fact that this speed at which the cyclist is moving is less than the maximum permissible speed, this cyclist will not skid away. Thank you so much for seeing the video.